Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kat and today I'm going to take you guys to the famous Florida Keys and we are heading to Bahia Honda State Park. So this park is awesome for swimming, for sunbathing, for snorkeling off the shore so you don't even have to go on a boat and there are walking trails here and it's just an awesome park to spend a day in and I'm going to show you guys the things you can do here. So let's go. So Bahia Honda State Park is about two and a half hours drive one way from Miami and of of course that's depending on you know the traffic and the road construction they might have but plan for at least two and a half hours to get down here the park opens at 8 a.m and for two people per car it's nine dollars to get in so for nine dollars including taxes for two people you have the whole day here and the good thing about the admission ticket is that you can leave the park and come back at no extra cost so as long as you keep your receipt so we actually just kept our receipts and we left and came back to the park and there was no problem. So when you first get in on the left hand side you will see Loggerhead Beach. This is the first beach you get to and it was really a pretty beach. You can see that here in the afternoon when it's low tide you can just enjoy being in the water with the beautiful colors. So this is an awesome beach just for swimming and sunbathing. There's basically no shade here so you will definitely get a tan. They do have some picnic tables along here but once again no shade. This one has a little bit of shade but don't count on too much shade here. But they do have tables where you can sit and eat. So once again, Loggerhead Beach is where you will have these really beautiful colors. We didn't try snorkeling here. I don't think there's much to see as far as snorkeling, but I could be wrong. So if you guys do visit and you do go in here for snorkeling, let me know if you saw anything cool in the water. But this is just a good beach to just sunbathe and go swimming. So if you keep walking from Loggerhead Beach, on the left hand side you will see a trail. Um, it's the old Bahia Honda Bridge Trail. And you'll see a lot of this in the pictures. The old Bahia Honda Bridge was built by Henry Flagler. You might have heard of him. So this was built between 1905 and 1912. And this road was built on top of the railway bridge in 1938 as part of the original overseas highway. And of course, they don't use the bridge anymore. As far back as 1972, they stopped using this bridge. But you can still walk up to this section here. And I'm going to show you at the end the sunset that you get from this vantage point. So stick to the end if you want to see the sunset here. The walk was really short. It was only about five minutes. There is an incline but it wasn't too bad and, and there are little pebbles on the trail but I was in flip-flops and I was totally fine. So just be careful where you step but it's a really easy little walk to get to this vantage point on the bridge. And once you get to this point where you see the sign you have a really awesome view of both of the beaches. So on the left here you will see Loggerhead Beach. That's where we first came in on the left hand side the beautiful colors and on the other side you see Calusa Beach and this is actually where we spent most of our time snorkeling so I'm going to take you guys there right now we really liked Calusa Beach because we were able to see a bunch of fishes and um, I don't even know what they're called, but there are just different kinds of fishes um, and you don't have to go that far. This is really good for beginner swimmers and if you don't want to go on a boat but you still want to do some snorkeling, this is perfect. We totally loved it. I didn't have any underwater cameras to actually take pictures that day, but we saw a bunch of stuff and of course the, the deeper you go, the more you're going to see. But basically you just go to where the rocks are and where the seagrass is and you're going to see the little fishes um, just swimming around and it's really beautiful. I will have to say though there is a very notable current. So once again if you are a beginner swimmer keep that in mind because there is a current that will take you further than where you're supposed to go if, you, if you're not careful. But it's not very strong but it is very distinct. So I can totally swim 
but I didn't feel comfortable enough to go that far out because of the current. So just keep that in mind. If you have, you know, kids or if you are a beginner swimmer, um, do keep in mind that there is a current here, but besides that, it is really shallow. You can go a long ways out and still be able to touch the sand. So this is really good for beginners. So all over the park, they have picnic tables with coverings and it's really shady. There's a lot of trees. Um, they have good amenities like bathrooms and showers and changing rooms. They also have a gift shop and a deli so you can get some stuff to eat here. But once again, if you want to leave to get some food and come back, that's totally fine too. And actually we left Bahia Honda State Park for dinner at a really cool restaurant. We got some sushi about 15 minutes down the road. It was really good. So if you want to know more about the restaurant we went to, you can click on this information card on the top right hand corner uh, once I have that up. So besides snorkeling on the beach here, you can totally take some snorkeling boat tours. They do have that available at least twice daily and you can also rent snorkeling gear and also boat rentals are available as well. So there are lots to do here. You can totally just spend a day lounging on the beach or having a nice picnic at one of the tables and it's such beautiful colors. We just totally loved spending our day here. And when the sun is setting, it's really gorgeous here as well. We went to the bridge for a 360 of the sunset, and I'm going to show you that a little bit here. We also saw some people at Loggerhead Beach, and you can of course get some really awesome shots from that beach as well. So yeah, this is an awesome park, a solid choice if you want to do some beach snorkeling or if you want to just lounge on the beach or go swimming. This is just an awesome park to spend time in. So we definitely recommend this. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Bahia Honda State Park. We absolutely loved our day here. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And there is another popular state park in the Keys. Um, it's called John Pennant Camp. It's a coral reef state park. And I'm going to cover that in another video. So if you want to see that, please subscribe and stay tuned.